hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today is a very exciting day today's video is literally one that i've been waiting for since like 2019 basically um so as you can see from the title today is a pack with me video for florida so excited we literally go in five days so i don't know just taking my slippers off um yeah we go in five days so i don't know if i'm like a really prepared person packing five days before or if i'm really unprepared because some people i follow on instagram literally pack like two weeks in advance but then i know some people book um book i know some people pack the night before so i guess i'm an in-between but yeah, we go in five days. It's Wednesday today. We go on Monday. And I am just so excited. I've been waiting for this. Like I said, since 2019. We were meant to go in 2020. Obviously, that didn't happen. Like, a lot of things. It got rebooked for 2021. We didn't end up going on that one either because it got cancelled. Um... And so it got rebooked for 2022. So it literally feels like we've been waiting for this day forever. I keep saying to Billy, I'm so excited. But at the same time, I'm excited like I'm just going on holiday type of vibe. I don't know if you know what I mean. I feel like if you're a Florida gal, a Disney gal, you'll know what I mean. But there's a different excitement to a normal holiday than there is for a Florida holiday. Like, the excitement for a Florida holiday is literally, like, up here. And then a normal holiday is probably, like... There's probably, like, quite a bit of difference between them. Um, and we're going for three weeks. So, yeah. Just in case you guys don't know, Billy and I have been to Florida before twice together. I've been loads of times. Um, basically, like, year after year after year. Like, growing up as a child. Um... But Billy's first time going was with me in 2017. Um, we went in May. So we did Flower and Garden together. And then we went back the following year, 2018, in October. So we did Mickey's Not So Scary and Halloween Horror Nights. And it rolled into November because we went the end of October. So we also did Mickey's um, Very Merry Christmas Party. So we've done basically a lot of things there. We've kind of done may and october november time so yeah we both of us 100 percent prefer october time um we both just love halloween horror nights we just love the vibe in america for halloween um yeah we just love everything about it um that time of year so we definitely prefer our preferred time to go is october um but yeah, so we have been a couple of times. This isn't our first time, but this is the first time we're going for three weeks. The other two times we went for two weeks the first time and then like two weeks and three days the following year. So yeah, I'm so excited. We are staying in Kissimmee. Um, so we're not actually staying on site, um, which I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about. You either love staying on site or you love staying off site. I've done both and I love both for different reasons. I love staying on site because, I mean, you're on site. So you're in like a bubble, Disney and Universal, and you get perks. So you normally get extra hours in the theme parks. And if you're staying Universal on site, you get the, um, you can show your hotel room key and you basically skip the line if you're staying in one of like the higher end resorts which both times I have um which is a huge bonus and like I said you get extra hours at the theme parks um not just regular not just for regular guests if that makes any sense I feel like I'm just blurting information to you guys right now um so obviously that's perks of that and you basically don't have to get transportation everywhere because you're on site so disney they obviously have the buses that go to all the theme parks um and take you to and from the hotel it's all free it's all included so you don't have to get like an uber or drive or anything like that um and universal same thing you get buses or 
when I've stayed at Portofino Bay and Hard Rock. You can also get a boat to the theme parks, which I did majority of the time. And Hard Rock literally is a 30 second walk to City Walk. So Billy and I did that tons as well. It's so convenient. Um, so they're like the main pros staying on site. Obviously cons, so expensive and it's just, the prices are just sky high. They're just not stopping at the minute. Um, so yeah, I feel like if there's, if there's more than one of you, if you're paying for more than one of you, it is a lot of money and um, I feel like you could spend that money elsewhere or saying you could put that money towards staying off site and then have like more spending money say so you just kind of have to work out which is better for you obviously the pros of staying off site is it's a lot cheaper so it's more affordable um to go um and also i <clears throat> i whenever i've stayed off site i've always stayed on kiss me um, I've never stayed like anywhere else so I can't really um, talk for anywhere else but I love Kissimmee there's so much to do you would never be bored there even if you're not going to the theme parks one day and you just want to sit around the pool Billy and I have got a couple of days like that um, for this trip um, and you get like a bit fidgety you, you won't get bored literally there's like supermarkets loads of restaurants little fun spot places there's just so much to do massive gift shops it's just like a big strip of fun basically so they're all the pros of that and a lot of the off-site hotels have free transportation to all the theme parks so um you're still saving money there you don't really have to pay for ubers the only downside to that is that they're normally at set times so like if you didn't want to get there for that time if you wanted to get there for when it opened or a bit later in the day you didn't you don't have that option as you do on site so you'd have to get an uber or a lift or drive and obviously that brings expenses up um and obviously if you're at a theme park and you want to go back to the hotel for a dip in the pool or something it's a lot easier to do that on site than off site so you just kind of have to weigh up your options but um yeah billy and i have done both we love both so yeah i feel like i'm but um i felt like i just had to kind of give you a little bit of information um like i said i've been going to florida for years so i feel like i'm kind of a pro at it at this point um it is my hobby i literally adore it i love it it's literally my happy place um and i'm so happy that um billy loves it too i was so happy and excited when we went in 2017 and and then again in 2018 and experiencing all the things that i've loved growing up with him and him doing it for the first time and us doing things for the first time together as well such as halloween horror nights because i'd never done that before um so yeah it's it's our happy place and we just love it and i feel like a lot of if you haven't been there you might think it's just like a little kiddie place like i know a lot of people think that they have that conception it's a little kiddie place it's really not um you can tailor it if you've got kids or if you're adults like billy and i um there's lots of bars there's like so much to do that and there's like I, I just can't explain it but i will be vlogging our trip so if you love florida vlogs don't forget to subscribe to my channel because they will be coming so so soon and i'm so excited for them i think florida vlogs are probably my most favorite videos on youtube to watch i could re-watch florida vlogs over and over again and never get bored um yeah so billy and i are doing all the disney parks water parks etc um, although only Typhoon Lagoon's open, there's Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach, but only Typhoon Lagoon's open when we're there. So we're doing all the theme parks in Typhoon Lagoon. We are doing both Universal, so Universal and Islands of Adventure. Also Volcano Bay, which is their water park. And we are doing Discovery Cove as well. So Discovery Cove was a very last minute decision. We said for a while we weren't going to do it because we... Um, have done it before so we didn't really feel the need to 
But then after thinking about it, we thought we're there for three weeks. It is a very lovely place. It's beautiful. You get all your food included, um, all your drinks, like alcohol included, etc. Um, and it's just, it's such a calming place. You get to swim with the fish and stuff like that. So yeah, we did book that on, even though it is quite expensive. We are doing Halloween Horror Nights because we are obsessed. We've bought the frequent fear pass, which means that basically we could go to all of the nights um, this on. Um, which is good because we went multiple times in 2018, so I know we'll use it. Um, we are not doing Mickey's Not So Scary this year. Um, we've done it before, so we didn't really feel the need to. Um, and it's just another expense, really. We're going to be having shopping days because that is our favourite. We're going to be having chill days around the pool. Going to be going to Disney Springs, City Walk, all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you enjoy Florida vlogs or if you're intrigued, if you want to plan a Florida vlog and you just want to get some ideas, because I know it can be a bit overwhelming, then yeah, subscribe to my channel because they'll be coming so, so soon. And when I'm back, um, I could do a and a if you guys want. Because I know whenever I post about Florida on my Instagram, I get tons of questions. So yeah, that's always a possibility. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling and do the come pack with me. So basically, we are taking a lot of luggage. We both have a suitcase each where you get 23 kilograms. We both get a cabin bag to bring on the plane with you as well, like a cabin case. We also both get handbags on the plane. So I'm going to bring a handbag and I think Billy's going to bring a rucksack. And we've paid an additional price to have an extra suitcase in the hold for 23 kilograms. So yeah, three suitcases, two cabin bags and two handbags. It is extensive, I, I know that. Um, but when we're there, we tend to buy a lot of Christmas presents and stuff for ourselves because it is cheaper. So that was our reasoning. Obviously, in 2018, we bought a lot of stuff and it was very hard to bring it back. So lesson learned, we've done um, what we need to do. Um, I've also been seeing a lot of things about cases going lost or like um, not being brought on the plane and so you get your cases a bit later that is quite worrying to me so i think what i'm going to do is pack quite a few outfits in my cabin suitcase and then a few in my normal suitcase just in case something happens touch wood everything will be okay but just in case i'm going to be prepared and have some outfits in my cabin bag so it's not the end of the world if it comes a couple of days late right there we go i've just word vomited all of that where do i start oh my god this is so exciting guys I, honestly i can't believe it so let's start with this because these are the most exciting you can't go to disney guys and not bring mini ears i have three that is quite um extensive for people that don't go to florida but I feel like people that do go to Florida have more than this. So I have the classic red um, mini ears, sequins. These are my faves. These are my go-tos. Love them. They're all sequin, by the way. I just love the sequin ones, um, especially in the sun because they're fun. I have these silver ones. Adorable. They really remind me of like Epcot vibes. And then I have these blue starry ones which are also very fun remind me of like hollywood studios kind of vibes so i have three mini mouses and they are all coming with me i think i might pop you there for the rest of this video i feel like the lighting is a little bit better um so right let's do this how many pairs of shorts have i got i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine pairs so it's quite a lot but obviously we're there for three weeks so i feel like that's a good amount um so the first pair are these um this is actually part of the co-ord these are from i saw it first and 
they're like a satiny fabric so they are super lightweight super comfy super breathable um and this is the shirt that it comes with so it is a long sleeve shirt it is that same satin fabric so super lightweight and i could also undo it and kind of just have a bralette underneath so if i wanted to take it off i could um but i love this so nice and i could also i could dress it up or down so i could wear it in the evening or the daytime so i feel like it's very versatile so i'm gonna bring that a lot of my stuff is gonna crease so badly but i i don't really have a fix for that i think just as soon as i get there i'm gonna hang up the things that need to be hung up straight away and hopefully they just kind of drop out the next shorts i have are these black ones these are from primark if you've never been to florida before then you wouldn't know but you want to be comfy you're going to be doing a lot of walking a lot of sitting down a lot of like eating <laughs> so you really want to be comfy i really suggest getting these types of shorts these like cottony jersey type of shorts because they're really breathable, they're really comfy, um, they're normally elasticated. I really wouldn't wear denim shorts around the theme parks, especially if you're going to go on a water ride because they get really uncomfy and they can rub um, on you. So yeah, I would suggest just getting shorts like that. I've got these shorts, these are from Zara and they're like a toweling material um so they will be great for the water parks or the theme parks i've got these ones these are the same as the black ones but in this teal color so they are also from primark i've got these shorts these are from pretty little thing they are just some cycling shorts these are really handy to have um, cycling shorts are just super comfy and um, you can wear oversized t-shirts with them I've got these ones from Victoria's Secret Pink they are like the ultimate comfort shorts I've got these ones these are also from Primark but just a bit longer I've got these ones these are from the Couture Club um, and they are also longer so sometimes I want longer shorts that will like make sure they'll cover my bum sometimes I want like a little bit shorter um, just kind of depends really and then the only denim shorts I'm bringing are these pink ones and these are also Primark they're paper bag and I'll only really wear these on like a shopping day or a day we're not at the theme parks because like I said um, denim can become uncomfy in that heat um especially if you're going on water rides and stuff so yeah let's move on to tops so i've got a lot of tops i think i've literally got about 21 tops so i might not wear all of these but options right um it's better to have options and if i spill something down it then obviously i can change and stuff so yeah the first top i've got is this white one from super dry it's just like a vest style with detailing around it super comfy all of my tops are kind of the same vibe they're all um vests or like um crops or bodysuits all kind of the same similar vibe i've got this black basic from zara I've got this white bodysuit from Zara, just like the basic bodysuit that everyone has, comes in handy. I've got this brown crop top from Pretty Little Thing, so comfy this one, it's like a jersey material and I literally think it was only a couple of pounds. I got the same basic Zara crop in white. I've got a couple of these kind of bralette kind of tops. These are from Primark. They are in the pyjama section and I live in these. I wear them all the time. They're so comfy. So yeah. And they're only about £3. So they're such a bargain. I've got another black 
basic crop this one is from h&m i'm quite neutral like if you can't tell by the way guys so you won't see too much color in here there, there is definitely pops of color but not like i'm not the type of person where my whole summer wardrobe's color saying that here's pop color i've got this really cute crop in this coral color i've got one of the same bralettes in grey. Another bralette from Primark in black. I also need to like weigh my case and make sure that it's like fine. <laughs> um, I've got this crop from Misguided and it just says Misguided on the front. Most hotel rooms have irons by the way so I'm not too worried. I mean Billy is so OCD with ironing his clothes so I know he'll be ironing anyway so yeah. I've got another crop in this lemon colour. I've got another bodysuit from Zara in this lilac colour. I've got another basic crop in this like nude colour from Zara. Like I said, they're all kind of the similar, they're all kind of a similar sort of top. I've got this crop from Hollister. And this is really cute and floral. The good thing about most of these tops is I don't really have to wear bras with them. I'm not the type of person that loves wearing bras. So if I can get away with it, then I will. I've got another one of those crops from Zara in this hot pink colour. I've got another cropped vest from Primark in like a cream. I've got another bralette in this baby pink colour from Primark. I've got this crop top, floral one from Primark. I showed you guys this in my recent Primark haul video, like what's new in Primark vid. Okay, and then these are just kind of fun t-shirts that I only really wear in America. I don't wear them here. So I've got this Pandora t-shirt um, for obviously Pandora. Um, I'm unsure whether I'm going to wear this, but I'm just going to pack it anyway. Just because it's grey, you'll see sweat marks. Um, even if I wear it as a pyjama top, it's just fun to have because obviously we're there. I've got my Halloween Horror Nights shirt from 2018. From 2018. So I will wear this one night when we go to Halloween Horror Nights always fun to get a picture in one of those and then i've got my thing to t-shirt um for universal as well billy billy had a thing one t-shirt so i he had thing one in he he had thing one and i had thing two but um i think his may be like too small or something now so he needs to get a new one um but yeah, so they are all my tops. Moving on to like swimwear. So the first bikini I'm taking is this one from Neems. I think that's what it's called. Neems. I don't I don't actually think the brand's around anymore, you know. But I just love this bikini. I've had it for years and it's so flattering and comfy. Um, so yeah, I've got that bikini. I've got this purple bikini from Misguided. Just a triangle style. This one is a thong bikini. So I wouldn't wear this to a water park. I'd only wear this like tanning or whatever but it is cute and it's good like i said for tanning because it's very minimal i've got this bikini from monkey it's got lemons on it so cute and then these are the bottoms and they are like a brief style so they're really cute i've got this swimming costume from primark and it's got lemons on it so i've got two with lemons on it so <laughs> yeah but the swimming costumes are really good for water parts because obviously you're going in the ride on the rides and in the wave pool and stuff like that and you don't want a little mishap 
I've got another swimsuit that I just ordered from Pretty Little Thing and it's just white um, so I need to take the tag off of this so I'm going to keep this one out so I remember to take the tag off because I don't have scissors here with me and then I also picked up this one from Pretty Little Thing this is a bikini I will only wear this tanning because it is so minimal um, but yeah it's just this like brown zebra print tie up one and these are the bottoms i love these types of bottoms because you can adjust them so these are the bottoms love that bikini okay so like moving on to like dresses and play suits i got this dress from zara it's just this tie-dye yellow and blue dress so that's more of an evening dress i'll wear this to dinner i'll wear this to dinner one night i've got this play suit from zara i've worn this tons but it's just so nice and really classy so this would be good for day or night you can really dress this up or down i've got this dress from super dry literally obsessed with it and this would be a good cover up as well because it's so flowy and then i've got this dress from super dry which would be nice either like shopping or in the evening it's just this white i feel like everyone had this dress this summer but yeah you literally can't go wrong with a white dress on holiday to show off the tan um and then i'm also taking this dress so this is another white dress from in the style this um was hanging up because it will crease so i actually i'm going to keep this hung up until the last minute um and then i'm also taking this one from a primark that i showed in my recent haul um but i was just trying to get the creases out so same thing with that i'm going to pack that last minute but that will be really nice for a dinner as well Okay, what else have I got to pack? I've got some stuff today from Primark that I need to pack. So I got another one of those vests in white, but I think I'm gonna wear this on travel day instead of a bra. So I'm gonna wear a tracksuit with this underneath. So that would be like super comfy. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that out. Um, I got these shorts just for like pajamas um yeah just really big super comfy shorts to wear so I pack those i've got some socks as well so i've got seven pairs of trainer socks and five like no show socks um i got these in primark today so obviously this won't last the whole time but we'll have to just like wash wash them i'm gonna have to wash like probably some underwear anyway um so yeah i'm just gonna pack them like this actually um and then my no show ones as well i also need to pack my um underwear so like knickers and bras but i need to do a wash today um of kind of like last minute bits because it's wednesday today this is basically my last day free so i need to do that tonight so i can pack my underwear um tomorrow i am going to get my hair done um nice and fresh and i'm also getting my lashes done i'm getting a lash lift and tint and then on friday i'm getting my nails done um and i'm also going to do my brows i'm going to laminate my brows and tint them and then i need to fake tan as well and then on saturday we are going to my mum's because billy's seeing some of his friends and i'm going shopping with my mum so that's going to be weird because i'll be shopping for like autumn winter stuff but i'll be going on holiday in a few days um and then we're going out for a meal for my granddad's birthday saturday evening and then sunday i'm going to go get a pedicure um and billy and i need to go um 
to B&M to get some snacks for the plane and like last <clears throat> and like last minute toiletry things um so like a mini toothpaste a mini shampoo conditioner all the mini kind of stuff we need to do that sunday and then we go monday morning very early i think our train is at like six in the morning um so yeah this isn't like everything but it's majority of things and then shoes wise I'm taking these sliders these are from pretty little thing they are really comfy so I'm taking those let's pop those there I've got two pairs of flip-flops I've got a pink pair from Primark and a white pair from Primark um both new so yeah I've got those trainers i'm gonna take i'm gonna take these ones from super dry um they're new so they're still in the box but i've got them in a different color so i know they're really comfy that's why i haven't like worn them in but i'm taking these because i think they're just gonna go with a lot of things i'll probably wear these on the plane yeah i think i'll probably wear these on the plane so i've got those to wear um i'm trying to think how many pairs of trainers i think i'll need up uh, i think i'm gonna take three pairs i think three pairs will be good i'm gonna also take my oswegos um they are quite like dirty but they're gonna get dirty anyway so um yeah i'm gonna Maybe try and clean them actually before I put them in my case. But I'm going to take these because they are really comfy. Um, and comfort is key in Florida. And then I'm also going to take... I wanted to take both pairs of fans. But I don't know if that's a bit excessive. So I think I'm just going to... Do I take do I take these ones or do I take my pink ones? No, I'll take these ones. I feel like... They'll just go with a lot more. Um, so my slip-on vans as well because they are really comfy too. So I'm going to keep those out as well to kind of wipe down. What else? I need to pack my pyjamas. So I've got some pyjama shorts in there already. And then I've got another pair of pyjamas. These ones have Marie on them and they are from Primark. Primark do all my pyjamas with all my pyjamas like that I wear anyway are from Primark um I never wear really any other pyjamas I just Primark's just elite for pyjamas so these ones um are Marie and I will take those and then I've got a nighty with Marie on it from um Primark too so I'm just going to take three and then some nights I'm going to sleep naked I mean let's be honest it's hot um so I think three pairs will be fine. Um, what else? A hat? Do I bring a hat? Do I bring... Because I've got a hat like this. Like a cap. And then I've also got like this Prada bucket hat, if you can see. Um, maybe I'll take both. Should I take both? I'm going to take both, I think. I think, yeah. I'm going to take both. Just so, like, I've got options. Um, I still need to pick out some jewellery. I'm not going to wear too much jewellery. I'm going to wear my ring that I literally always wear. Billy got me this when we were, like, first together, like, over six years ago. So, it just lives on my hand, basically. And then I want to bring a my Dior bracelet, I think. Just for, like, nice dinners and stuff. Um sunglasses i am going to just bring two pairs of sunglasses and i'm going to bring these two pairs so these ones are primark Ooh. yeah and then these ones are from reserved so yeah i'm just going to bring two i think that that should be enough but i'm going to bring them in my hand luggage so they don't break 
I also need to pack my camera equipment. So I need to charge all my camera batteries up. I'm going to bring my tripod that's on at the minute. It's like a Manfrotto one. You're not allowed to take a really retractable one into the theme parks. So this one's perfect because it doesn't do that. Um, I need to get all my memory cards together. I've got like a little pouch that it'll all go in. I'm going to pack my battery charger as well. Um, I'm going to bring all of that in my hand luggage just so it's on me. Um, yeah, my camera. What else do I need to pack? Um, I've got like a little list of toiletries. So I still need to pack makeup. I'm just going to bring quite minimal makeup because when I'm on holiday and it's hot, I don't wear too much makeup really. Just a bit of concealer and brows, stuff like that. So, um, yeah what else do i need need to get sun cream so i'm just going to read you stuff that i'm going to take with me but i still need to either buy or um yeah to be honest most of this stuff i still need to buy because i want to buy a lot of travel stuff um yeah so i'm going to read you a list so sun cream after sun deodorant toothpaste toothbrush razors lip balm hay fever tablets paracetamol ibuprofen imodium because you never know cystitis medication because you never know plasters in case we get blisters or whatever shower gel shampoo conditioner dry shampoo heat protectant hair serum mouthwash my hair curler or waver um or both <laughs> claw clips, scrunchies, hairbands and bobby pins, adapters for America, um, a hairbrush, all my camera equipment, wet wipes, bite spray, lem sip because you don't know, nail clippers, face wash or my set of water to take my makeup off um, and then I'm going to pack some fluffy socks in my hand luggage because I get really cold on the plane. So that's everything that I am taking with me. I've also got my oh, my dollars as well. So um, they're ready to go. Got my tickets up there. We've printed all our documents. We've done our esters. We've done everything like that. We are basically good to go. Just need to get obviously last minute bits that I was telling you about. So yeah i think that's everything when you guys are watching this video i will be in florida so if you want to check out my instagram because i'm going to be posting lots of photos over there lots of stories updating you guys um live <laughs> basically um if you are interested then go follow me on instagram and yeah i think i'm gonna wrap this video up here wow i feel like that's gonna be a long video but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And like I said, subscribe to my channel if you are excited for Florida vlogs. And I will see you when I'm home. Bye guys!